Hey, what's up, Smashers? We're gonna be talking about shoulders today. Uh, and you know, I could go on and on about shoulders. Why? Because, well, shoulders are important, but it's probably the most unstable joint in the body. I'm gonna hold this as if I can do it without shaking, by the way. So if I don't do this, like I have Parkinson's or I drank uh, six gallons of pre water, a bunch of Koyos, Mental Titan, or even some Fit Aid, give me the jitters sometimes. But the way the shoulder works, yeah, I'm not gonna hold this. You guys are gonna go nuts. So the way the shoulder works, is mechanically, think about it. The shoulder is a ball and socket joint, we know this already, super unstable because you sacrifice stability for mobility. So the more it moves, right, the less stability it has. Now, by the way, if you can't do this, I'm gonna give you the basic shoulder test again because I'm gonna tell you, if you can't do certain things, Mm -mm. you fail, you need to work on some shoulder pliability. Now, pliability encompasses everything. Remember that. Mobility is such a buzzword, and it's a dumb buzzword. There's so much more involved than just mobility. So we're gonna, we're always gonna be talking about pliability. Why? Because it's more important and it works. That's the way your body's designed. So the shoulder is essentially held together by connective tissue, and it's just a, a piece of flat bone, right? Scapula is the shoulder, right? It's a piece of flat bone that skates along that rib cage. If the muscles are too developed in the front, and not developed enough in the back, like most of y'all out there, including me sometimes, well, before, not so much now because I'm incorporating a lot of these drills, right? But a lot of times what ends up happening is it starts to draw the shoulder forward. So you get a ton of power, horsepower delivery in the front. So for example, swinging a bat, right? Throwing a punch, you know, anything like that. If you're gonna be grappling, anything that you're gonna be doing, you know, tackling, you gotta duck underneath, all, or uh, get blocking rather, tackling, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Anything that's involving the shoulder, you're gonna be super, super strong in the front and really weak in the back, which means your body can't decelerate the movement that you're doing, so it doesn't let you accelerate the movement that you're doing, if that makes sense. So you can only get as explosive and powerful as the weakest point is gonna allow you to do. The body is smart enough, your central nervous system understands that it can't apply the brakes on a movement if there's a weak portion of that movement, so it only lets you apply the accelerator to the movement up to the limit of the brakes, right? So it's like you have this really fancy, crazy car, goes super fast, but it's got really shitty brakes. Any great driver is gonna drive the car only to the ability to stop the car. And that's about it, unless you're, you know, Drift King doing all kinds of really funky stuff. But outside of that, remember, so that's how your body functions. So we're gonna make sure that the shoulder works perfectly in the posterior portion as well as the anterior portion because we need to make sure there's joint centralization and a lot of pliability, right? So we're gonna do the test. Test is easy. Shoulder test. Yeah, see, I got that fun little piece of, where is it, right there, yeah. So shoulder test 101. We put the arms out front. I'm gonna show you a pass. A pass is this, okay? We can go all the way up with the shoulders. You can do that, go, go. If you do this, right? Or if you do this, you fail. That simple. So I'm going to give you five things that are going to be strengthening movements and one, one I almost said mobility, one pliability movement. So one, one basic stretch. The stretch is easy. I have this thing up here. It's called the pull-up bar. We've all seen it. Check this out. You take the pull-up bar, you're going to get the best angle ever. Check this out. This is the coolest angle. Look at this. You can, I can look right down on my phone. You're going to do what's called a supinated hang. Normally, I have you guys do pronated. Supinated hang, so I'm going to have you grab shoulder width apart, and that is all you're going to do. And then you're just going to hang for how long? Two minutes. That's it. That is your entire stretch routine. That's going to clean up more tissue in the shoulder than anything else you do. Now we get to work. So first thing, it was what's called a neutral grip press. So neutral grip press just smashed my knee with a friggin' kettlebell. It sucks rocks. So neutral grip press. I'm looking at my phone. I think my phone's dirty. Let me do this. I'll clean it off. There we go. Oh, that's way better. I had, uh, I was at an event one time and I had Brooke Entz take my phone, clean off my lens because it was taking a really shitty picture. So you can go on your knees that for this one, okay? So you're just gonna be kneeling. Don't worry about stability this way. You're just gonna take the kettlebell. I want it across the back, the back side of the hand. So kettlebells across the back side of the hand because trust me, the next one you're gonna be kneeling. Neutral grip, so I don't want that elbow tucked in. I want it this way, hand is facing inwards, okay? Your elbow is gonna be out a little bit, so I don't want it out like those old school military presses. That's not gonna incorporate a lot. It's gonna just jack up your shoulders. So I'll just do that. So you're gonna be out a little bit, but this, 
actually puts the scapula in the best position for movement. This is really light, it's only 15. So close the hand on this, don't do it open, you're gonna wind up smashing yourself. And then you're just gonna drive straight up and then all the way back down. This is your neutral grip kettlebell press. How many? Three sets of 10, that's number one. All right, number two is we're gonna do, there's a bunch of things we can do. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a face pull. So let's see if I can move this around here. So we can see what's going on. We'll go like that. See, I'm still here. We're gonna do a face pull. So face pull, you can see this. I'm gonna take this. Let's turn the camera just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. We'll go like this, there. Load up a band. So I want the band straight in front of you because when you're doing a face pull, you're pulling it this way so you're using more shoulder. If you pull it low or you pull it from the bottom of the rig or the top of the rig, what you want up using is a lot more back. So face pull is just exactly what it sounds like. Pull towards the face. Use a band, that's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything fancy, no cables, nothing like that. Face pulls, that's it. Three sets of 10, that's number two. Number three, since I'm using my kettlebell to hold up my camera, is an upside down kettlebell, a kneeling kettlebell press. This is a different movement. You're gonna take a knee. I want the lead leg. That's the side you're gonna be doing this because there's a lot of instability here, so we're gonna integrate a little bit of core stability as well. Flip the kettlebell upside down, and then just drive straight up, and then back down. That's it. How many? Three of 10. You know the routine by now. All right, last one is a single arm landmine press. So you can see I got the barbell kicking my back here. Tucked in on the corner there. So all you do, Lead leg again, same side. So lead leg, same size with the barbell. You're just gonna drive straight up. So when you're going at an angle like this, as I almost fall, right? As you, when you're going at an angle like this, don't look at the camera and try and do this at the same time, you'll eat shit. But when you're going at an angle, it deloads the shoulder in a much safer position. So you're not gonna wind up beating up the joints. So if you have a little bit of shoulder pain or a little bit of shoulder issues, do landmine presses instead. They're easier on the system. So all you're gonna do is drive up and then back down. How many? Let me see if you can guess. Yeah. Three sets of 10. Same thing on the other side. Don't just do one side, that's not gonna help. And that's all you gotta do, it's just that simple. Hey listen, I'm Trav, Smashworks, cleaning up the shoulders. I don't know why it looks so dark in here today, but that's just the way it goes. I'll check you guys out tomorrow.